They sprinting away from the thousand meter mark and not a bad beginning this one. Our moon shadows right there, whirly whirly in the green cap. Calgary's on the outside and tripod with the green sleeves has now run up second. King's Meters fourth, and then we drop back. Real Visions along the inside. Marshall Bats on the outside of runners, about five lengths off the leader with Queen of Alamo. Along the inside of that one is Time Years. Dimaggio's towards the outside as they turn for home. Calgary leads it there. In second is Kingsmead. Tripod is down the inside. Our Moon Shadow, Whirly Whirly. Towards the inside, Real Vision. The outside of that one is Dimaggio. Coming to the 200, and Calgary still goes. Calgary's clear by two lengths as they come to the last 100. Calgary still in front. And it's Calgary by two lengths. They're not going to get to Calgary, who will win it. Calgary to win it. Whirly Whirly will come out second best. Then Our Moon Shadow and marshal that. Toad favourite, the winner number nine, Calvary at three rand. Overcame the draw and the Kirari is victorious and that's back-to-back -back victories for Calvary. Wins at Scottsville, now wins at Gravel. Had the barrier trial at Gravel, wins by two. Whirly Whirly runs second. Third placing will go to, let's run it across, our moon shadow. Fourth place, Marshall that. And then came Tripod, followed by Real Vision and then Time Ears. And further down the field is DiMaggio, and they were followed further back by Kingsmead. So as we look at the head-on, and Calgary, Calvary is the leader, and there's the Kirari, Gavin Finzale, Gareth Finzale Jr., and Billy Jacobson, and they go to the line to win it well. So, Dees, please, in your interview, speak to Billy about his wedding, and ask him about this boxing that I hear he's taking up some boxing. That's it for the time being. Craig Peters signing off. Well, I mentioned uh, it's a bold statement from Garrett uh, running this horse in a B Division class state out the maidens, a three-year-old son of Karari, and you can see why uh, he thinks highly of this horse. Uh, three-year-old, we'll see racing of a net 79, yeah? Handicapper gave him a rating of eight, 92. So, uh, Garrett, come through, let's have a chat. Uh, you know, a B Division company taking on older, hard-knocking horses. So, this was a bold statement from you because he looks like a smart horse. I'm, I'm really blown away, blown away by this victory. Um, he had no right to win like this today, considering um, you know, I had to vaccinate him after his last run and time off and then bouncing him into this race um, just according to circumstances. And um, the source is seriously good. When uh, Billy jumped him out from that wide draw, he got over so easily. He's, he's got unbelievable speed. And you know, the fact that he can quicken off it again I don't know what I'm dealing with yet, but it's so exciting to, to be in this position, to miss the T, you know, um, for the support for, for a young trainer to have a horse like this is an honor and a privilege, it's what we dream of. And it's wonderful for, for Billy to be a part of the dream as well. You know, look, we've only um, won two races, there's a long way to go, but um, it's, it's really exciting and we're enjoying the moment. Kevin and Warren were talking about, you know, why, why he doesn't wear shoes, and you just briefly mentioned to me last time out at Scottsville, he, he does cut himself, does he? Yes, um, he doesn't have the strength in, in the ligaments and, um, you know, towards the, the paston area and um, he clips his elbow with his hoof and with a, with a shoe on it makes a horrible wound. And at the moment we don't need to um, see whether that, the, um, those ligaments and tendons have, have strengthened up. Um, it's, he's quite alright without them, his feet are, don't give him a day's trouble. And, um, you know, it would be nice, perhaps, if we, if we go on um, from here to be able to use shoes for, for our own sake. Um, but, you know, for the horse's sake, it's working well. Um, I couldn't be more happy for Billy. It's his wedding, obviously, as been said on Saturday. And I um, wish him and Mal, um, you know, a, life, a lifetime of happiness together. Well, in closing, I can say that you've done a superb job with the horse, uh, Garrett. And I wish you all the best with him because... It was a bold statement raising him in this B Division handicap and he's delivered with flying colours for you and I wish you all the best with him. Well, I see Matthew Lips walking past. The handicappers often take stick. Um, I, I asked him earlier about the 92 just to explain and educate me, but I, I wasn't saying he's wrong or, or they're wrong or whatever. I just wanted to know perhaps how it was influenced and 
I noted too that um, you know, recently they, they seem to have got it right when they've you know, made a bold statement with the Met ratings. Um, you know, I, I, would, I would expect that he's going to go up from here and uh, a well done to them as well. Well done, Garrett. Cheers. That's good, Billy Ian. And uh, Billy, firstly, uh, congratulations on uh, making the bowl move. I had Donovan Dillon last week. Now it's your turn. Uh, but uh, coming back uh, to this horse, you were so confident from the jump. Yes, Deez. Um, coming into the race, uh, um, I thought he was a little bit out in the weights and that, to be honest. Um, but I know he's a really good horse and he gives me a good feel at home. Uh, he has had his horse sickness and that, and I just thought he might, just might have needed it. Um, saying that, I've always thought a decent, that he's going to be a decent horse. And he really surprised me today. He flew out those gates from that draw nine, came across with ease. Um, he's got so much speed. And when I asked him, he just picked it up and he just continued to pick it up and he never stopped. That's what I want to touch on next. He never stopped because at one stage when we were watching it, we, we thought maybe, maybe you're going too quick. Maybe he's overdoing it, but he's, he's obviously in cruise mode. Yes, uh, Diz, um, Gareth asked me the last time when I rode him. Um, I actually tried to ease him back a little bit in the first uh, 200 because he was actually, I felt he was going too quick for me. And um, coming into this race, I thought from that draw, I'm just going to bounce him. He's got the speed and he'll make it across easily. And which he did. And he was traveling. He travels so well and he doesn't overdo it even though we're traveling well, and it does, I think, when I'm on top, it doesn't feel like I'm going too fast. Um, but yeah, he does it comfortably. You know, we, we're not going to overstate it, but yeah. he seems to be like a, a lovely horse in the making. I hope so, Deeds, yes. Okay, and Craig upstairs said, I must ask you something. I, mean, I don't yeah. know if he's watching you boxing or something. Are you doing any boxing? <laughs> yes, Deeds, I'm, I'm boxing. Hopefully I can have a fight uh, in November in um, Joburg. With, what, what, uh, what weight would you box at? What, 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 what level would you box 55. at? 55. 55, yeah. is that like featherweight? Yeah. Was it featherweight? Yes, yeah. It's, it's the lower division. So what, you'd have a three-round fight or six-round? Yeah, just, it will, will only be amateur uh, fighting, and um, I'm enjoying my boxing. It's The fitness is there, so, yeah. Well, you know what? When, when I look at you, you, you remind me of height-wise of a baby Jake Maslala. I think he was a bit shorter than me. <laughs> <laughs> and he was tremendous. Yes. I mean, dynamite in small packages. No, definitely. Well, I wish you all the best over the weekend, Billy. Keep up the good work and uh, all the best with the boxing and uh, all the best with the wedding this weekend Great, thank, as well. Thanks, Dees. Just a huge thanks to Gareth and his whole team. Um, they've been fantastic. Uh, John, Trevor, um, everyone involved. And this is especially for um, my dad. I never really thank him. Thanks, Dad. Well played. And uh, Mel, wedding, boys, win a party hard. Lovely. Big day, big day, big day for Billy Jacobson this weekend getting married. And thanks to Jill as, uh, for that information. Uh, number nine, Calvary. After this victory, there are many that be putting this horse in their black book. Nine, seven, eight, and two is the way they cross the line here. Race number eight. And a wrap of our race meeting. Thank you to the guys. Uh, Warren Linferna, KB Shea. We've had uh, Craig Peters in the commentary box. Raymond Rogers, Denver, Mr. Chips, Jan Grantham, and of course their team. And a meeting will never go by without mention of the best and hardest working cameraman on course, who is none other than Zayn. From myself, Dees Dianan, and if we meet again, you take care. Salani Gashle.